Light dusting of snow up north. Look, it's gorgeous, but the temperatures are frigid all over Georgia. 11 Live storm tracker Rosemary shared this picture from near Blue Ridge earlier today. The temperature falling below freezing tonight. Here in Metro Atlanta, same story. It's going to be a very, very tough night for everybody who is out of doors, including your pets. Yeah. So we go straight to our chief meteorologist, Chris Holcomb, and this is the coldest air of the season but certainly not the first time that we're going to experience it. You're exactly right. You know, it's hard to believe that this time yesterday we were at 68 degrees. So right now it is 33 degrees colder than we were at this time yesterday. We're at 35 right now in Atlanta, just a few degrees above the freezing mark. Carrollton, you are at freezing at 32. In Rome, it's 32. Dalton is 32. We're in the 20s right now in Blairsville. And with that wind whipping up, it feels even colder. Right now, the wind chill makes it feel like it is 23 degrees out there here in Atlanta. Lower 20 wind chill readings up in northwest Georgia. 32 is the wind chill in the Covington area, folks. It is a very cold night, and it's only going to get colder. Colder. We have this wind advisory that remains in effect until 7 o'clock for another couple of hours here. Those winds have been whipping up. We've had some uh, some maximum winds today around 38 mile an hour wind gusts. We have had reports of some trees and limbs down and people reporting some of their uh, backyard things are kind of blowing around out there as well. The wind is going to die down a little bit tonight, but that actually is going to help our temperatures get even colder tonight with lows that move down into the 20s. So we have a freeze warning in effect. It looks like Temperatures will be below freezing for about 12 to 14 hours, so you definitely need to bring the pets in, protect any plants, and also insulate any of those outside pipes that you might be concerned about freezing up. All right, you talk about those wind chills, and you can understand why a handful of cities, Chris, are opening warming shelters tonight. We have all the details on the main page of our 11 Alive app.